Pete Sir here with Cash Flow Gold. We're here at property 35564 Capri in Clinton Township, Michigan. This one just had a price reduction. It's bank owned down to $26,900. List price, annual taxes, $1,900. It's a three bedroom brick ranch, two full baths. It's on a slab, but uh, it's such a nice house and a nice area that uh, I definitely recommend this one as a great uh, investment property for rentals. A quick scan of the uh, neighborhood. See everything is uh, all brick. Well maintained. And we'll take a look inside. So you got the uh, roost in good shape. Need uh, just a couple uh, touch-ups there. Looks like we have a couple missing shingles. Uh, it's possible they just weren't uh, installed properly. It's a quick fix. We go into the front here. Should need a little bit of landscaping to give it some curb appeal. And to the front entry door, you'll see an entry into the living room here. The carpet in the living room and hallway, uh, it's a nice uh, plush carpet. Looks like it can be cleaned. So we've got some nice uh, crown moldings here, recessed lighting. And we'll enter into the kitchen. Oh, here's a scan of the uh, front there. You see you've got the ceramic uh, foyer there. And the front bay window. Enter to the kitchen. You see we have ceramic tile flooring. It's all intact. Just need to be touched up a little bit. Large uh, dining room area here. You'll see we already have uh, circuit breakers, so the electrical's been updated. Got yeah, a beautiful trim job here at the house. Just gonna need some paint. This room here is not one of the bedrooms. It doesn't have a closet, but you see like it has the French doors. It could be used like as an office uh, space. I guess it could possibly be used as a bedroom, but it can't be listed as a four bedroom because there's no closet in here. This carpet's gonna have to be uh, replaced. Quick scan here. You see, we got the black walls kind of dark in here, but it's uh, yeah, probably more like an office. This is your side entry door here. Just takes to the side of the house. And you see, we got the privacy fence and that's locked up. We'll take it in the backyard in a second. Kitchen's in really good shape. Again, we've got uh, French style doors here. We'll go out to the backyard. Those are in good shape. Just need some new locks on them. We've got the, uh, a lot of space here in the kitchen. Good cabinets just need to be touched up. We've got nice trim work in here as well. Uh, so the dishwasher's been ripped out. So we'll have to uh, pop one of those in. We've got the ceramic backsplash as well. Looks like they were, might have been working on the electricals. It's going to need some electrical uh, updates as well. A lot of the covers are off. I've seen some loose wiring. But that can be uh, that can be fixed. Get some nice light fixtures which can be kept in here. Uh, all the plumbing will be tested. And uh, if it's operable, I mean, it's a, uh, a high-grade uh, faucet. Nice, like, antique style there. Countertops are all in good shape. Very, uh, very nice area. Very nice house. Got the six panel door here. It's just like a pantry closet. Just need some paint. This is, uh, this would be where the uh, washer and dryer are. So we got the double doors there. See some touch up with the drywall. Possibly electrical, missing a door handle there. Not a, uh, not a major renovation. And this here is the furnace and hot water tank, right next to that. Let's both be tested. Furnace looks uh, like it's got a little bit of age on it, but it can be tested. And either updated if needed, or uh, can be replaced. You see here we also have the, uh, this house does not have central air, but it does have the attic uh, ceiling fan. This will be the first bedroom here. Again, this is in need of uh, carpet and padding. 
It's got uh, double closet doors. Looks like those can probably be repaired. Rehung, painted in the closet there. In this room here, has the crown molding as well. It's a very nice touch. It's probably be one of the kids' bedrooms. Looks like it might only be like a 12 by 10 room, not that large. We go out here. This is the uh, first bathroom. It's going to be in need of some updating. I just replaced that vanity. And uh, get rid of that wallpaper. Probably just paint the walls. Uh, this will have to be cleaned. The tub will be glazed, recogged, and put a shower pool up. I'll be updating some of these wall fixtures as well. They're just outdated. go here into bedroom number two. Again, this one's missing the carpet, so it's going to need carpet and padding. And a little bit of drywall repair, get rid of that wallpaper. And uh, install some closet doors there, they're missing. It's a large house. I know we like basements, but again, with the area in this house is 1,377 square feet. It's got a lot of square footage. And the extra bath is a nice touch, too. This is bedroom uh, number three. This would be like the master bedroom. Again, you see these carpets. These will have to be replaced as well. They're just beyond uh, cleaning. Update the painting. Patch up the drywall. Double closets there. A double closet door. That'd be touched up inside of there. See if we can salvage those wire racks. If not, we're going to install some new ones. And it's got an old uh, wall air conditioning unit, which I would uh, recommend we go ahead and pull that out. Maybe just put a glass block window in there. And this is, uh, I guess, the master bathroom. You see the uh, the tub. And the surround have been uh, gutted out, so that have to be uh, they'll definitely have to be updated. Check all that plumbing. Put a uh, put a ceramic surround in there and a new tub. Update these floors here. I mean, it's going to be a complete remod in this bathroom here. You see, you've got the older uh, vanity in here as well. And toilet is all just have to be replaced. So I'll take your bag out down the hall and out the back door. I'll show you the backyard. Yeah, it looks almost as if uh, whoever had this house did some great renovations. Uh, maybe started on this side of the house, the kitchen, and started to work their way down and just didn't make it to the last couple of bedrooms. But uh, we can spruce those up. And I, uh, this area here, I don't see any reason that uh, you couldn't get 900 a month rent which would uh, give you some great returns it does have a pool and deck here but again for a rental property that would all be tore out and we can just fill uh, the area in there with dirt it's gonna need some landscaping in the back here as well clean all this up but it does have a uh, nice large yard nice private uh, privacy fence there surrounding so we go ahead and fill in uh, some of these areas with some uh, some dirt to improve the grade. Got a nice uh, nice size shed there as well. It's in good shape. Get rid of that pool. Do some landscaping. We have a great looking uh, yard here. Let me show you the back of the house. There again, roof's in good shape. Uh, the chimney uh, is in good shape. It just looks like we might need to flash and tar that. It's a uh, not a major problem at all. It's more of a preventative uh, measure than anything. And that's it. Got a great property here. The price has just been reduced to $26,900. Annual taxes around $1,900. High demand rental area. Pete Sir for Cash Flow Gold. Thank you.